My name is Commonwealth Lord Jonathan Mead and I am the moderator for this afternoon's session titled a Naval Diplomacy and Maritime Power Projection. And if I could just ask uh, if we could put the first slide on the screen, please. I thought um, in researching for this topic, I would try and uncover some uh, archival footage of our two presenters uh, during their heyday um, whilst I was ministers. And, and apart from encapsulating the hands-on approach that each minister took to their portfolio, I think the photo does nicely encapsulate uh, the diversity of roles and tasks that navies are asked uh, to execute by, by government. Uh, you know, with a, a Minister Hill here, um, with George Maguire uh, dealing with peacekeeping operations, and then at the other end of the spectrum, uh, we saw you know, Minister Beasley engaging in naval diplomacy, but also on uh, USS Missouri, a high-end war fighting. Um, now this session is the final slot for today, but I think you'd agree with me, um, we've left the best uh, for last with the two presenters that we have. And it does give me immense pleasure to introduce the two speakers, Ambassador Kim Beasley um, and Professor Robert Hill. Despite their different political affiliations, uh, they have had very uh, similar career trajectories. Um, both um, were highly schooled in the social sciences, uh, both served for over two decades in the Australian Parliament, uh, both served as Ministers for Defence, uh, both served abroad in ambassadorial portfolios, and both have reinvested uh, that knowledge back into the academic community. And, and I think it is fair to say uh, that Kim Beasley and, and Robert Hill are giants in the field of political military affairs, and we're privileged to have them um, with us today. Our first presenter, uh, Kim Bomber Beasley, presided over the ministry uh, during a period of great international turmoil. Uh, it was a period of strategic shock. It saw the end of the, uh, the Cold War, the collapse of the Berlin Wall, the fall of the Soviet Empire, and the move away from bipolarity. Uh, making matters worse, in 1990, a, a small invasion uh, across the Kuwaiti border uh, saw uh, strategic shock number two. Um, and this placed the Royal Australian Navy on a war footing. Now, Australia was well positioned to meet these challenges, as only three years previous, uh, the government, uh, under his direction, had commissioned Professor Paul Dibb uh, to undertake a comprehensive review of Australia's uh, military posture. Ambassador Beasley could not be with us today, uh, but he, he is in the cloud, uh, and his discourse uh, will look at the tenets of self-reliance, uh, planning, and, and force structure, which are really thrown into harsh relief uh, during his time as Minister. So I'll now hand over to Ambassador Beasley. <laughs> 